everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode we're going to have a look at the um, immersive petroleum stuff and a bit of immersive engineering of course. So we're going to go and get a few samples and see if we can dig up some oil. So let's get started. Right, what we need first of all is this core sample drum drill from immersive engineering and this is this thing here. And the recipe for this is fairly straightforward. It's steel scaffolding which is basically uh, steel ingots and rods I think and some light engineering blocks which is iron stuff and some steel, st steel frames so let's have a look, just check the recipe for that but yeah three ingots and three steel rods makes six and the, f the st fences are fairly straightforward as well they're just more sticks and more ingots or rods and ingots and the light engineering blocks are must be for those is basically four ingots of iron well no, we need actually one of these makes this two ingots of iron, isn't it? In the thing, so that's I'm trying to do it at eight. Eight plus three copper will make two light engineering blocks. So that's what we use to make this. Now, when you've actually got this in your hand, let's put it in the hand, it shows you the boundaries, the chunk boundaries. I didn't realize that until just now. So, what we do is we put this down. So, let's put it down here, and we need to give it some power. So we need a connector, so I think it doesn't matter what type of connectors we've got, but we've got here a, a light which will give us some power. So let's just take a connector here, I think, I said it, ain't 100% sure to be done honest with you. We'll then connect that up to uh, some light LV wire, insulated wire is always the best one to use, even if you don't need it, because I've got so much, uh, oops, I don't want this one in my hand, I want this one. Let's just connect this up. Should be within range. Yeah, no problem. So now we do all, all you see this thing is actually it's actually flickering with us only because of the background. So if we right click this, it goes down, drills down, and then it comes back up again. And when it comes back up again, you'll have a core sample. So what we need to do then is just take an empty hand. Um, this is actually a bad one to have in my hand. Let's just put this one in here and right click this and you'll see I've got a core sample and if I look at this core sample there's no minerals but we've got almost 300,000 millibuckets so that's uh, 300 buckets of lava in this in this one here so what I'm going to do now is break this down again pick up the bits and put this lava shift right click it on the ground and it tells you where it is so the next one of these chunks is this one so let's take this one and do the same thing again Connect it up. If I move the bucket out of the way like this, it'd probably be better, won't it? And connect it to the light. And repeat and repeat that again. Hardly takes any time at all to, to charge up enough power for this, so we could easily do this with a, a mobile uh, LV capacitor or something like that. What do we get this time? Something different. So we got a lapis vein. So we got 38,000 ores, which is actually pretty good. Now, unfortunately, to actually dig those up is a little bit more expensive. We'll come to that in a minute. Or the lava is no big deal. We can do that, no problem whatsoever. So let's put this one down here like that, and then do the same thing again. Let's do it here this time, and it's in a different chunk and connect it up again I've done a few of these already so it's not a it's not a big problem to actually it doesn't take very long as you can see doing them on the chunk boundaries like this is you get four in a in a in a very short small space so you know exactly where to do stuff and which chunk they belong in let's have a look at this one now what have we got this time We've got coal, so we've got, uh, oh, we've got not only coal, we've also got um, oil. So we've got 10,000 buckets of oil down there and 38,400 coal, which is also pretty decent. Well, that's quite a good place to, to dig stuff up. So let's put this one down here like this and then do the last of these four. Because sometimes you just get nothing at all. So that's, I want to show that as well. Try going back a bit further so I can connect it up. 
and the last of these is here. Did I not click that? No, I didn't. So I right click this again. Wait a few seconds for it to come back up again and stop rotating. Then we can right click this out. And this time we've got nothing at all. So that's a good example of that. So let's just uh, think this up for the last time, hopefully, and put it down, put this one down here. So we know exactly what's in here in each one of these. So some of them are really good, like the coals and the lapis one and lava. Well, that's lava is useful too. In fact, I don't need lava because I've got the bees doing the lava for me. So let's go and now dig up some of this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to the uh, jungle base and I'll see you there in a few seconds. And here we are. Uh, as you can see, I've already done some. And this one's got both cinnabar and it's got oil. So it's got 14,000 uh, buckets of oil in here, which is a, it's a good good amount. It's got also got uh, water in this one. And these two have got nothing in at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a pump jack to pump up this. Now, a pump jack is a multi-block structure from uh, immersive petroleum. So let's get the book out here and have a look at this. Because we need to set up the, the recipe. So we need... Um, Let's have a look at Mercy Petroleum. I think it's got oil processing here. So here we've got the recipe for um, pump jack. It tells us about fluid reservoirs as well. So if we actually go back to that page there and have a look at this one. So so while mining near bedrock, you occasionally notice a slick black flammable substance oil. This oil is one of the many uh, fluids that can be found underneath the impenetrable rock. So underneath bedrock. So it's a sort of virtual fluid, if you see what I mean. But you won't be able to um, breach these reserves for your, on your own. So we need a specialty design machine, which happens to be the, the pump. So we, did, we discovered it with the, the cord reels we've already done. So we found our reservoir. So now we need to go back and build this pump jack device here. And it takes, so treated wood fence, steel scaffolding, fluid pipe, Engineering, redstone engineering block, light engineering block, heavy engineering blocks, blocks of steel and four sheet metal. It's not steel sheet metal, it's quite expensive. Um, but we've got everything prepared. We need, I've got everything prepared that we need for this one. Uh, so let's get it put down. I need to watch these wires because it's going to be big and it needs to be anywhere in this chunk here so it's no big deal. So let's get, uh, I've got some backpacks as well as you may notice. That was me playing around, see how things work. So let's just put down uh, everything into a chest if we can get rid of the stuff we've got. There isn't one around here. Let's just go inside and empty out what I've got because we don't need it all in here. Um, where's my chest gone to? <laughs> oh, that's they're here. They're invisible. That's great. <laughs> got invisible chests. Right. Let's shift everything into that one for the time being. And all the stuff I need is actually in my... Make sure we've got the pickaxe with us. Actually, that one won't do. We'll take the... Make sure we've got this. And we need some of this. Because we need to give... It, actually, power is no problem. We can give it power. Otherwise... Um, do I need anything else from in here? No, I don't think I do. I've seen this before where blocks disappear. And I'm not sure what the cause of it is. <laughs> There we are. So that's strange. So now we've got in our on our inventory here we've got the the backpack and oh, I actually got a backpack on me. Let me just do that. Put this one down like that. And I've got the blocks in here that we need for this. Actually I don't need these. I'll leave those in there. But I do think that's everything that we need. Let's just double check that now. Oh we need the fences, don't I? If I can remember where the chest is, I think it's in here. Fences, yes, exactly. We'll take make sure we've got those with us and some buckets. We don't need the core sample drill anymore because we've done that, dealt with that one already. So let's have a look. So we've got everything we need. So now I'm going to just put prepare the projector and use the projector on this one. So here we've got the projector here and the book. Let's put the projector down here and then we've got the book here. So that's so that's fine and let's go out and start to put this down and it doesn't matter which direction we put it in um, at all but you can see where it is now so let's mm, let's rotate it I think I'll have it facing this direction 
I'll put that right click it and then it puts it down so all we now need to do is put make sure we've got everything that we need in our inventory so we'll need steel scaffolding and fluid pipes to start with we probably need some heavy engineering blocks like that I think that'll possibly do for now so let's get the steel scaffolding and as you see it marks it down very nicely for us like that I think just about all of the steel scaffolding goes at the bottom here like that and that's a light engineering block and then we need the pipes like that and then we've got some fences here so we've got the fences prepared as well of course like that and here we've got I think I'm not 100% sure I can see the redstone block is here that's no big deal let's put that one down of course when you go up a bit higher you can see better so that's the that was the light engineering block the heavy engineering block which we've got two of and then we've got more pipes here which you uh, sorry more fences here oops missed that one let's put that down there and here and remove this one even if it's extra we, we don't need it with us in fact can I break that by myself I can good it takes a bit longer and then we've got this block here which, we, which is actually difficult to put down so what I'm going to do is just put down a I'll put down a pipe here I think and on top of that I'm not sure what we've got let's have a look what have we got left in here I think it might be a block of steel it is a block of steel so we can take that and then we can break this of course quite nicely with the, the pickaxe I'll remove that one don't need that in there and that should show us what we've got next um, if I stand back a bit it's probably easier to see so we've got some more this is actually steel um, sheet well, steel sheet metal yes that sounds a bit strange that doesn't it so put those down and you can see that they're going all the way across there so we put the first one down and then we can put the others down like this and then of course the last one of these will be another block of steel here as you can actually it looks better now you can see much more easily can I reach that yes I can good and we just need two more fences which if I stand up here I can just about reach those I think Oops, <laughs> I've done that again. I don't ask me quite why how I managed to do that. I must have just left the mouse down a little bit too long. And now it's green, as you can see, you've got the green outline on it, which means it's complete, so we can remove the pump jet projector, the projector out of the way. And then we just need the hammer out of the back here. I should have the hammer in here. And let me right click, I think it's this block here. I can read it, of course, and so it was the bottom one of those. And as you can see now, it's gone red which means it's actually complete but it shouldn't be showing me that anymore because I've removed the projector there we go so here is the redstone controller as we saw before and here we've got the output and somewhere we should have some way to connect the power in I think it's on the top here like this yes it's there so what we're going to do is just connect up this to mm, I want to connect to this high voltage cabling here but of course high voltage cabling is pretty dangerous stuff so we're going to get this make sure we get this armor on here like this so let's just swap these over so we need the Faraday stuff then we won't get electrocuted at all uh, in this invisible chest here I th think I don't need anything from in here as I can see I'm just just double checking because what I need to do is make sure I've got the bits and pieces that I need and I want the transformer and I move the transformer into here this is a high voltage transformer which will convert high voltage to medium voltage so we just need a medium voltage connector I think we only need one of those so we'll need some high voltage cable and some insulated MV cable here I think that's probably the safest way of doing this I did run the cables out from out of here as you can see so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this down now where are we going to put it onto high voltage cable can actually go 32 blocks as opposed to 16 for low medium voltage so here let's put it down here say I think we should be all right 
can we connect will we be able to connect that in yes we will be able to good i've actually got some scaffolding as well now let's tell you what we'll do let's put this block down here and we can stand on that looks like it's night time so i'm going to just go and have a quick sleep let's put the connector down first of all that's the mv1 you can always tell because it's slightly smaller than the hv1 um so we need to put the wire down and then i i'll do the other one in a second when when it's daytime i'll see you I'll see you in a second so what we need to do now is connect this one to the relay so let's just get the hv voltage out of here i hope this is going to work i haven't tried this either <laughs> first time for some things and this is one of them so we can simply connect that up to this relay up here because we've got that if i do this now without the faraday you'll get a good belt from it but we're all right with that one so that looks a bit strange, but I'm pretty sure this has actually got power in it now. No, nope, it doesn't say it has. It's sometimes, does it need low voltage? It looks a bit strange because it seems to disappear, but I'm sure it's correct. This machine requires... Um, 256 RF per tick. So I think, hmm, don't know. Tell you what, that's not going to work. And I don't think we need to uh, get this working like this. So inverted. Not inverted. It should be showing power in here. It's not showing any power in there. So what I'm going to do in that case is to knock this down and we'll put in just a very, very slow alternative <laughs> when i say slow i really do mean it's very slow so i'm going to use the thermoelectric generator which is producing 42 rf per tick um, which is really not enough for doing this one i need to go and get it out of the bag i think it's in here but we need two of these and we need two packed ice rather if you want to know how it's doing that i was holding down the control and clicking the thing and in my invent so i've got my bag on oh of course i've not got my uh armor on so i need my armor so we need this one on let's just put this one on we don't need to worry about that anymore so where is it ah i see it all the time i couldn't see it for trying let's just put this back in let's just put this back on again make sure that we're safe um yes we can do it like this can't we So I'll just set this up in the very simplest possible way. I think I do need to be up a bit, actually. Otherwise, we can't reach this connector. So if we put this down at the LV capacitor here. Oh, that's the MV1. I need the LV1 out of here. Let's get an LV1 out of here. Let's push the MV1 back in again. And connect this up. what have i got for blocks let's go and get a block it's a bit difficult to see the blocks at the moment because we've got <laughs> the invisible chests but i know this stone a couple stone in the top chest here if i right click this oh, i'll do fine some jungle wood smoke no vertical jungle wood let's put that being in the jungle base vertical jungle wood seems appropriate so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm not sure how to do this let's see I don't know what I'm going to use, a relay. I'm not sure I can do it. I might have to make a post. Have I got any posts in the bag? No, I don't. Oh, I know what we can do. Yes, we can do this, no problem. Put down the third one. And then we can put a relay onto this one. Let's get an LV relay out of here. And then put the relay down so it connects onto this face. And then we should be able to link those two together. So let's get some oops, let's get some cables out of here. And of course, I know it was going to the wrong place. That's no problem. We connect that one down there, and then we can put down the the thermoelectric generator. And on the sides of that, we'll just put down. Um, should we put down the ice, packed ice, doesn't really matter. I'll put it on the other far sides, it affects me less. And then we'll put the block uranium, so this will generate 42 RF per tick. 
and then we just need an LV another LV connector which I haven't got with me let's put one of those in there like that put it on the top and then I should be able to connect these two together like that now you'll see it's actually generating it's got power and you can see this is going around very slowly so now the last thing of this part of this exercise is to put down some pipe um, and I've got an empty tank here so an empty barrel as you can see if I get a bucket in my hand it should say it's empty so let's just break this away and put this as near as possible to this the output is here like this so we need the pipes to go into the top of this of course I don't think yes we have to do it on this in the top I hope I've got enough pipe actually thinking about it I'm not sure I have got enough pipe so let's put the barrel down like this I need three pieces of pipe and I've got two um, I don't think I've got any in here but I wonder if I've got some in the, the in the backpack I haven't uh, we can make some pipe actually because I did bring some uh, iron with me today so that was good I sort of think it's in this invisible chest here <laughs> I think we need four pieces which we need to convert into we use the hammer to do that I'm not sure whether it's four or six we need um, to be dead honest with you let's have a look at the uses of these and I think we need six for pipes there we go that's the recipe for yes we need six we need another two of those and there's the hammer if I press W it pushes up there and when I do a W again it'll go in there and then I can press shift and it brings those two out because it damages the hammer which is what I don't like to do very much but there we are so now we can connect this up so that should now have some it some oil in it not very much 60 millibuckets but it's going up very slowly so there we are so we have our pump jack working very slowly <laughs> next time what I'm gonna do is I'm possibly going to set up either um, the refinery for this from immersive petroleum but that's an awful lot of stuff so let's have a look at that before we start to do this one um so we need the refinery so now where is it the distillation tower so we need 25 sheet scaffolding so that's uh i think that's 25 ingots not too bad 33 steel scaffolding slabs 17 fluid pipes uh, 60 sheet iron metals, 4 heavy engineering blocks and some redstone engineering. That's, that's a good lot. That's a good lot of blocks in there. There's over 100 blocks in this. Just by looking at that. 130 blocks or something like that. Um, to build this thing. And it's enormous when we do build it. And it requires a lot of power. And I think the power, at least we've got the power near here. So we can do it near here. That's why I was doing it. So next time i'd like to do the um distillation tower but i might in do some more advanced bees because our last episode i did the um the mob grinder for the guardians using a bee and actually to get that bee was not the easiest of tricks to do because you need the steadfast bee anyway i'll cover that next time so until then bye for now <laughs>